Forest Four is back and he got some things to say. He got some videos from some of the ladies, the women's, the TBBs, okay? Let's see what they have to say. But starting here, I saw this someplace else. I thought this was funny. Your whole outfit is from Sheen, but Cheesecake Factory is where y'all draw the line. Chop. Mm, mm, mm. But let me go to the left. I find it easier for a white man to approach me than a black. White men are bold. They go for what they want. This might sound crazy to you. A white man will prefer you natural before a black man. Half of y'all don't even know what a natural black woman is because we put on so many different things to fit a standard for our men. Black women are the most loyal yeah. to black men. Than in, I'm talking about any other race, any other ethni ethnicity. Black women are loyal to black men. Next time you see me have a baby, I will be married to a white man. I promise y'all, he gonna be white, he gonna be European, he gonna be from, you know, Saudi Arabia. It's gonna be something exotic. I can appreciate finding a man that appreciates black women. Y'all know, let's talk about that. That is so sad. That is so sad. I know, I was joking, but I was serious at the same time. I know I just said the next time I ever pop out in a relationship, have a baby, be married, will be with like a European, Italian. I said Italian specifically because they love black women. Like, it is so sad how black men really hate black women. Like, it's sad how black men do black women. Even with my situation, like, I had so many black men coming at me crazy. It's like, where is the accountability? Why do y'all hate us so much? Looked at popular, uh, popular dating websites. Um, it was a peer-reviewed study conducted by a team of sociologists over a span of a couple of years. So this was a rather intensive study. And again, what it found after looking at that study, when it looked at preferences that women had across races, minority women, Latina women, Asian women, Black women, some Indian women, what it found was that these women, for whatever reason, responded primarily, first and foremost, to white men, reached out to them. And then and then they responded to men of their own race. So again, they, they responded first and foremost, most often to white men, secondarily to men of their own race. Basically meaning there was a higher preference for white men that all women, all minority women showed, not just black women, but all minority women, Latina, Asian, black women, whatever, all showed. And then secondarily, it was two men of their own race. And then they looked at, you know, how they filtered. You had some minority women who filtered race of their own men out. Um, you had uh, some minority women who, you know, they did all kinds of different things to show their preference. But this is what the data was um, found. And so that particular short I was breaking down, not my opinion, not what I just woke up one day and, and decided to make up. But what some of the different data was finding. Now, of course, that makes people really mad. It, 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 just, it just doesn't really sound good. It doesn't sound good to the sisterhood narrative. And then for those, you know, in the pro-Black community who want to believe that everybody loves Black people and that all Black people love Black people, that didn't sound good to them. They got a lot of pushback. But the numbers are what they are. What the data also found was that although these women were really interested, highly interested in these men of other races, primarily white men, it did not necessarily mean that white men were interested in them. This is what I think it's really hard for black women to grapple with when it comes to them dating out. There are men out there who have no interest in black women when it comes to marriage. They have zero interest in ever having a black wife and ever having mixed melodic kids or ever having black kids who are gonna be perceived as black by other society. They have, there are men out there, people out there who think that, but they will have fun with you. They will sleep with you. They will brag about you to their fraternity brothers. They will brag about you to their friends. Some of them have lists that they will do this. They might even have you as a side piece or they may even claim you as a girlfriend for a couple of years. But when it comes down to who are they going to be settling down with? Who are they going to give their last name to? Who are they going to um, share their legacy, their assets? Black women are nowhere on that list. I'm not saying that this is for everybody. It's important to say I'm not saying this is every situation. Obviously, I know people who are in happy, thriving, you know, racial relationships. But I also won't pretend this doesn't exist. It does exist and it still exists today. Just keep that in mind, because what happens is this whole divestor swirling movement to dating out movement, it's not really dealing with the dangers. It's not dealing with the the reality, the consequences, the different things that women need to navigate. It's just pretending like black women can just hop over to the white community and choose the, the top ranking men with no issue. As if white women don't exist, as if preferences don't exist, as if white men don't generally have preferences for their own women. So it's the movement is completely deluded and delusional. And this is why I think you can have women who these situations happen between, you know, white men liking white women, not a big deal, but they're all, all up in arms because in their brain, it's like it's like this almost weird sense of affirmative action as if white men, <laughs> high value white men deserve or owe black women a chance. 
is that just because a black man decides to sleep with a black woman or date a black woman for two seconds, he now owes black women his loyalty. And I'm like, I don't know where this delusional thinking is coming from, but it's not real. <laughs> Understand how these dynamics work. Men rank women. Men, especially men, men who are not, you know, they're not thinking God fearing, they're not trying to be honorable, whatever. Men who are just like they just want to have fun. They are ranking women. They're saying your wife material. You're just hit it and quit it. You're just a side piece. And so a lot of women will go when they have all these fantasy situations of being Mrs. Cartwright, as some of y'all say up in the comments, being Miss Anne got Miss Anne syndrome, thinking that they're going to be the Taylor Swift. But actually, they just end up being the side piece, and they're confused when they're treated like the side piece and not treated like the wife. It's because they don't understand the way these. I find it easy. Woo, child, that was a lot. Woo, child, that was a lot. Shout out to Shay Charday, though. <laughs> Woo, that's her lane, child. That is her lane, and she can have it. I ain't got time. Shout out to her. But the stats, now the stats we know, okay? But we already know that some of these TBBs just is so upset and they can't handle it. They don't want anyone to tell any truth. Let me rephrase. They don't want to accept any of the truth, right? So it's better just to lie to yourself. Now, like Shay said, it's not saying that no white man doesn't want any black woman because we know that that is not true. And it's a shame that we have to say that. But what we're talking about is statistically, which is what? They don't want to acknowledge and admit. We just saw white or not a black lady the other day talking about when she sees a man smiling and happy. She don't like that. That makes her feel crazy and her sexual energy leaves her. What kind of mess is that to say? And this woman right here who already got a black child in front of her talking about getting some exotic man. Ma'am, if that's what you was going to do, then why didn't you just go ahead and do it before you had this daggone kid? So she think that she just going to miraculously get some Italian man from where? From who, when, where, how, and why? Girl, you know you probably, for the most part, ain't never left the state that you was born in while you over here having kids with Quantavia. Shout out to Quan down Fulton County or Poop Nug. The high bristophilia be on fleek, okay? Shout out to Kendra G that shows that every single episode that she has. <laughs> that Kendra G has shows that too many women, first of all, don't value marriage So in the beginning. So why are you looking for it afterwards? Then sitting around talking about, you could just easily go get a white man. Like then do it. Like, why do you have to talk about it? This is what I don't understand. What's all the talk? Just do it. Just, just do it. I don't even understand why it's gotta be, I can get a white man or I'm gonna just, just, just do what you gotta do. I'm not sure about the announcements, right? So this is this is d delusional, of course, of course. And shout out to um, the Daily Wrap Up crew as well. I believe that was uh, their initial video. They do great stuff as well. I hardly see any of these people anymore because I'm all over the place. Y'all know I'm all over the place. We covering everything around here. We doing the news. We doing the worldwide news, y'all, okay? But I trust what Shay has to say because I know damn well that she in them stats. And we've seen the stats as well. Just like the uh, uh, top uh, black single women with children are the poorest, we know that, and least likely to be married. I mean, it is what it is, and I'm a black woman. So that stat applies to me as well. I mean, the situation is completely different, but the point is, it's I'm still in it because I'm a black woman. But, you know, they don't see it that way because, you know, half damn crazy is half damn crazy. It don't matter what the stats are. It's just I'm going to say what I want because that's what's going to make me feel good. Make me feel good. OK. And that's why they out here looking half damn crazy, saying stuff like they're not going to go to the Waffle House, but then being praising Russell uh, Wilson because he took Sierra to the Waffle House. Like what? N pick a lane. Pick, make a decision. You can't even make a decision. Why is it that black men don't appreciate us? Black men don't like us. You don't like yourself at the end of the day. That's what I think, okay? That's just my two cents, my opinion. These people don't like themselves. Just because your mama failed you don't mean that the rest of the world got to follow you and your trauma. Most of this is trauma bonding. So then y'all want to sit up here and be miserable together, then go be miserable together. But why is it that you hating on other black since you love black women so much 
and then talk about how bad black women are treated and then turn around and do the same exact thing. Like it's freaking maddening. It's absolutely maddening. So I don't have the same opinion as you. Then that means that you can just attack me and that's it. That's all. And it's all good in the hood. You're not black. You're white supremacist talking white supremacist talking points. Oh my God. Well, what the hell are you if you over here talking about white men and what you can do with white men and you want a white man and I'm looking for a white man, Italian man or whatever. Go do you, boo. We do not care. Honestly, y'all know we do not care. All we going to do is talk about you because y'all here looking half a damn crazy. Actually, all the damn way crazy. But anyway, y'all. Shout out to Will Quill in the building. Thank you so much for your support, on. He says they talk about getting a white man like it's going to Walmart and grab one off the shelf. Exactly. And what's all this talk about it? I'm just trying to understand why you just don't go and do it. And that's it. That's it. You don't have to tell anybody anything. What is all this? Everybody got to know every damn thing. It's annoying. So annoying. Yet the marriage stats not changing. If it is, if it's so easy, do it. No, it's not changing. That's what I'm saying. Like, we can just go to the stats just like I know Shay does. And the stats are the stats. You can say whatever you want. You can say whatever you want. That don't make it true. We see Krishan out here saying shit every day, looking half damn crazy and then be proving that she be lying most of the time. It don't make good God sense. But you know, that's the people that they love. They like it. We love it. Okay. They like it. We love it, child. Anyway. Then there's this one real quick, y'all. This one, this one I did see, it's real quick. So um, the caption on this one, it's the same person. Black women won't start to appreciate black men until they date in these other men and stop idolizing them from afar. So this is this girl talking about being black while she is in Italy. Remember that last girl said, I'm gonna just go to Italy or whatever the hell she said. I'm gonna just find an exotic man. I'm gonna find me a white man. Yeah, talking about it, but we don't see you doing nothing. So we out to eat. And these people have repositioned themselves to stare at me and all of <laughs> They have repositioned themselves. These people right here. And now he's throwing up a middle finger at me. <laughs> yeah. Now he's, cause he's staring at me the whole time. Yeah. It is so sad. I know. I was joking, but I was serious at the same time. I know I just said the next time. All right, that's her again. But, it, but she... This is not the same girl that was just over there. Um, the girl is in Italy and they sitting up there staring at her, tossing her the middle finger. I guess she originally thought they was checking her out. That's what I'm thinking. I could be wrong. Like they was checking her out. They probably was turning around and look at you to be like, oh, I ain't seen one of them over here before. And listen, 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 people's experiences are what they are. Maybe they don't see a lot of black people in Italy. I don't know, child. But they probably was like, mm, let me see what she going to do. She thought she was getting admired and then he tossing her up the daggone middle finger. But if it's so easy just to go over there and get a, a Italian man, a white man or a whatever man, then why the man sitting up here giving you the finger? Honestly, at the end of the day, maybe they wasn't even looking at her, but she going to make it about her in her mind and then turn on the camera because you know that's all people know how to do is turn on a damn phone. And then try to make it seem like, oh, he was looking at me. Oh, he was looking at me. And then he said, let me give you this finger to let you know. Ain't nobody trying to look at you for no other reason than to watch what the hell it is you doing. Pertic boy, echo women. Stop putting yourself in stupid situations. And then you don't have to really worry about it. You don't know. You don't know what it is. White supremacists are all over the place. She was in danger. Black men don't help black women. Why do black men? black women sis that's your experience that's your experience you have to ask yourself why so many men don't like you honey it might be you it just might be you and guess what everybody don't have to like you how about that everybody don't like me and surprise surprise y'all i don't like everybody surprise a damn prize if you can believe that but these people just think that everyone falls at their feet everybody likes them and everybody wants them and it's really insane at the end of the day but we're gonna let them rock and do what they do and as they continue to post we're gonna continue to talk about them child but let's move on child let's move on. we do not care 